love stories. I was never a big fan of those love movies. What do you call them? Like uh, hopeless romantic movies. I could never really get with them because they just seem so unrealistic, especially in the eyes of a man. Most of them always ended in a good way, ended happily ever after. But a lot of the love I witnessed in life did not end up like that. The journey was not always happy diddly. I've seen a lot of ugly things in relationships and love, but I've also seen a lot of amazing things, beautiful things and love that a movie can never touch or even show. But in my opinion, for some reason, movies just never encapsulated the love that a man gives. Shows and movies never really show the true essence of a man's love for his woman. One of the greatest examples that I've seen in my life when it comes to love is the marriage relationship and love that my uncle and aunt, the one I talked about recently that just passed away, the love that they had. From day one to day now, I witnessed such a great love and to the point that they pastored together, created a family, created a legacy and had a great impact on me and relationships like that that i've witnessed in my life is what i base love on especially when it comes to my uncle because right now he's suffering a a major heartbreak you know as you know my aunt died his wife died so just imagine that part of you just being torn apart and just and gone forever and i was thinking to myself if i was to make a movie on a man's love for a woman one thing that i would talk about are the silent signs that he has fallen in love with his woman his queen his forever thing And if I was to make a movie or a TV show, the first thing that I would talk about or show when it comes to a man showing signs that he has fallen in love with his queen is that he no longer cares about our opinion, y'all opinion on her. I've witnessed this firsthand too many times with the dudes in my life, my brothers, my uncles, my friends, people talk, people going to talk. And they have heard rumors and gossip and naysaying about their woman. Each and every one of them. But one common thing that they tell me is that I don't care. (laughs) I love that because they are down for their woman. It has gotten to a point that they are all in with their woman. And it shows in their acceptance of what other people say about their woman. Because at the end of the day, what matters the most is what he cares about what he thinks about his woman this world is sick man people are going to try to break up your relationships they're going to try to break up your love and your marriages people are jealous of you people are jealous of good things happy things and as they say misery loves company so they will do their very best to break up your company but you cannot break up that company when you do not believe everything someone says about your loved one when you know your woman so much or you know your partner so much and you are down for them that much that the little things people say could never break up your big love. I love seeing that. Another thing that I would place in this movie, another silent sign that a man is, has is fallen in love with his woman, is that I will show that male actor and treat his woman in this as a need and not a use. You see, when a man loves a woman, a huge silent sign is that she will feel needed and not used. You know, when a man needs his woman, he shows it in his actions. Even if he sucks with communication or is not as well-spoken, the things he do for you and to you will spell it out. Because when you need something, you take care of that something with your last bit of energy, life, and everything. Because you need this thing. And without this thing or this person, you fear that outcome. You fear that vision of that, that loss. But when you're using something... Pay attention to this. When you're using something, you're already thinking about the future. Because when I use something, when you use something, you already have a replacement in mind. Like when I use this paper plate to eat, I got another paper plate to use to replace that. Or when I go to one of these, you know, uh, Mexican restaurants that want to be stingy with the rice and chicken, know what I'm talking about. And I use one of the little plastic forks. There's tons of them. There's, there's tons of extras of them. Because when I'm done with that fork, I can get another fork. I'm using it. I don't need it but it's there for convenience. Men do not treat their women as convenience when they need them. And going back to my uncle, when my aunt was alive, every action that he did in the church, outside of the church, in our family gatherings, he did out of love. And not just love, I I, I wanna emphasize on need. He needed her so bad, so much, and he showed that. And there's another thing, another silent sign that a man loves you that I would love to put in this movie is to showcase the big three C's. Have you ever heard of those, the big three C's? Well, if you have it, they are communication, commitment, and compromise. That trinity gotta be shown in my movie, in my series. 
a man has to present those three C's to you. And not only does he has to, but he wants to. Like, I want to communicate to my love. I want to compromise for my love. I want to commit to my love. And I will do those things because I love you, right? When there's lacking and slacking in those C's, it leaves a big hole. There's a gaping void. And that gaping void will become a black hole in your relationship. What else? What else? Ah, this is a good one. A silent sign that a man loves you. And I will have this male actor portrayed this throughout the whole movie and series is that he will cheer your strengths but cater to your weaknesses and there's no and or or these two things are not separate this has to be packaged together right a man should cheer your strengths but cater to your weakness so what does that mean strengths are pretty easy to have to be honest with you strengths your strengths are easy to talk about they're easy to boast and in my opinion you don't need no more encouragement for that because that is your strength you got that locked down. You, you, you've you mastered that probably. You're good with those strengths. But the most important thing is your weakness. I'm big into sports. And growing up in sports, throughout school and whatnot, coaches always told me you are as strong as the weakest person or player on your team. Now think about that. You could have a team of all great players, but you are only as strong or as good as the weakest player on your team because in a team everyone counts in a relationship both of y'all count you cannot say that you are doing good as a husband or a boyfriend but your girlfriend or your wife is struggling how could you say that that's a major imbalance right so what a real man is going to do he's going to cater to your weakness he's not going to pile on to your weaknesses he's not going to criticize you for your weaknesses he will keep you accountable but keeping someone accountable is totally different from criticizing. Let's remember that part. A real man is going to work on your weaknesses and he's not gonna do it to you, he's gonna do it with you. You're gonna help along in this. This is a process for both of y'all. And I know these things because I've seen these things. I've witnessed it all my life in the beautiful relationships and love. It is something that I've always studied and been interested about. And one of the most interesting parts of the relationships and, and the successful loves that I saw is that there was always one partner that was struggling more than the other. Something was going on in that person's life, that one person's life, that their partner had to compromise, communicate, and commit to. They had to be there for them. They had to cater to their weaknesses. They had to feed them encouragement and positivity because it's not just all about strengths. It's about making you a better person and make you a better person together because making you a better person together makes us better as a whole. Real men know what I'm talking about. And this is gonna be the, the deep and profound part of this movie. If I was to make a movie about the silent signs that a man is finally falling in love with his woman, and that is a man will let you in. Even if his pride has a wall with bricks thick as an, an elephant's leg, eventually he's gonna let you in, especially if he has fallen in love with you. And I've seen this too. He lets you into his weaknesses. He lets you into his vulnerabilities. He lets you into the things he struggles with. He lets you into the scary parts about him. And he lets you in because he wants your help. A real man knows his weakness, right? And an honest man knows the things that's inside of his life or in his mind that may hurt his woman. And if he is willing to let you in, a big reason for that is because he wants to tackle this thing together. It is hard to hide struggles and demons especially when you're becoming one with another. When you become one with another, you take on the traits of that other. So if we're gonna become one, I need to let you know some things, right? I need that man to show that because that is what a man is going to do when he is falling in love with you. If a man does that to you, he trusts you because some of the things you might find out about him may be shocking. So if he's willing to show you that part of him, then he clearly has an investment in you and hopefully it's a healthy investment and one sign that i'm gonna talk about a silent sign that a man has fallen in love with you that i will probably put in the beginning of this movie is that there is a transition from friendliness to your mind the actions go from friendly actions to protective actions friendly vibes and energy to lover vibes and energy and the things he does say to you goes from friendly type things to more intimate and lovey-dovey type sayings. Your guy's trying to get out that friendship bubble. <laughs> I would definitely put that in the beginning because that is a big step for a man to take when he has fallen in love with a woman, is to actually simply put, show it. Showing it is super hard for a lot of men because they know they have to get out of that ego that they have, that pride that they have, that macho-ness that they have to show you that they have a soft side for you. That's a big step. And I've seen 
a lot of relationships in my life where the beginning part of their relationships lasted so long because the dude, the guy, did not want to show his affection to her. He did not want to show that he fell in love with her because he was trying to keep on this, 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 this aura or this face. He was scared to show that he wanted to be more than friends. Happens all the time. You know, I think this movie would be a hit. What y'all think? If your guy Sills the Man ever did that, y'all would be the first to know. But thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helps some of y'all understand the mind of men a little bit better. Peace and blessings. Good night.